Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about one of the earlier fixed blades I brought into my collection before I was into the EDC fixed blade game, but again, a knife that kind of had a pivotal role in that after I started carrying every day, and a knife that I really came to appreciate after I started carrying it more as an EDC knife. But this is the Artisan Cutlery Sea Snake, a design by Mike Immler. And if you guys get a chance before we jump into this, please hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification icon next to it. If you want to hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, or leave a comment, totally up to you. I appreciate you guys more than you know. But the Artisan Cutlery Sea Snake is a neat little worn cliff knife it comes with a kydex sheath it comes with a neck uh, lanyard type thing and i put an ulti clip on it to carry it as a pocket dropper but the first thing you notice about this little knife is that it is incredibly thin it has very thin blade stock very nice cutting geometry has a uh, jimping right up here on the spine and it also has a very generous fingering choil that serves as a great sharpening choil to give you complete control over this knife. So before I was carrying fixed blades as the EDC, this knife's primary purpose was and still is to break down cardboard. This knife is a cardboard slaying machine. I don't know if I have any more. I've got a little slither of my coupon paper. But this little knife, guys, is oh so slicey. And a lot of that is the blade design, the blade geometry, and the, uh, the low bevel. I want to say this is probably at a 16 degree bevel. Um, but the blade steel is that AARPM9, that artisan cutlery proprietary steel, has a really nice satin grind where you can see those belt lines in it. Um, G10 handles that are again very thin. So this knife carries very minimalistically. If you pop this in your pocket, it takes up very little room, has a very stable sheath. For tension, it does have a little rattle. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's not uncommon, especially for a smaller knife. But this guy is a great EDC knife. I have carried it more because for the things that I find myself using my fixed blade for, whether that's cutting string, cutting paracord, whether it's opening boxes, this little knife is a cutter. It is a slicer. And it is very effective at that. I'm kind of a sucker for worn cliffs anyway, which is what led me to this knife before I was into fixed blades altogether. But this little knife, fantastic value. I picked it up at Amazon. You can grab it in Amazon and other places with a lot of different colors. I'll put a link in the description. I want to say it's right under 40 bucks, $39.95, something like that. Um, and it's the Artisan Cutlery Sea Snake. So just to give you guys an idea on the size of this sea snake, let's do some size comparisons with some folders first. Let's sit next to the Cold Steel Formax. Next to the Civivi Baby Banter. Much closer in size to the Baby Banter than the Formax. And then the Benchmade Bug Out. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than the Benchmade Bug Out, which we don't need to look at a spider code because we know it'll be smaller than our pair of two. So let's look at it next to the Mini Bug Out. So guys, it's maybe an eighth, quarter inch longer than the mini bug out about a half inch three quarters of an inch shorter than the bug out now before we get the tape measure real quickly 
let's look at it next to a couple of fixed blades that you might have in your collection. The Azula SE3 or the SE3. And the Bradford Guardian. Right about the same size as the Bradford Guardian. If that gives you any indication. And then let's look at a couple more quickly here. Let's look at a White River small game. A little bit shorter than the small game. And let's look at the Topps Bull Trout. A little bit longer than the Bull Trout. So splitting the small game and the Bull Trout kind of in half. So guys, what that translates in to actual measurements is, we'll break out the Javon promotional ruler with a sticker on it, and it's six and three quarter inches overall, the three inch blade, three and a half inch handle. Now to the first choil, you've got three and a quarter from here to here. Where I grip the knife, you've got four and a quarter from here to here. So to me, guys, that is a very ample grip on a smaller knife. Let's take a look at the blade thickness. It's thin stock, 0.1020. Point oh one seven five, and then the handle is narrow at point four oh one oh. So yes, a very thin, small, capable knife that is about as slicey as anything in my collection. Two point three five ounces. Well under the ounce and inch rule. And with an ulti clip with a Kydex sheath, 3.5 ounces. So guys, that is the Artisan Cutlery Sea Snake, designed by Mike Imler. A knife that I really like. A knife that I would love, as crazy as it sounds, to see it smaller. Just because my EDC knives, I like them to be, you know, about five, five and a half inches. But this little guy is slicey. It is pokey. It's great for removing splinters. It's great for carving. It's great for, you know, a lot of things that you're going to run into on the EDC. So $39.95, I think. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description where I got it. You can Google it. It might be available at other retailers too. I know it comes in a lot of G10 colors, but guys, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for subscribing if you are inclined. Thank you for commenting and leaving a thumbs up or thumbs down if you are inclined. And please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.